Hey people, so Cherie's doing some more beer rocks. We're gonna make that rise here. And it's gonna come up all the way up here. This is the second time you rise it and apparently according to her you gotta do that. Then she's gonna stuff it with chili con carne. Mexican style. And I'm getting ready to uh, make a caldo de queso, cheese soup. And this cheese soup, you actually fry up some garlic with some butter at the bottom of the pan at the beginning. And once it's fried up some, kind of just colors it up. You leave the butter in there, it's probably about two sticks of butter. Then you add the bacon into it like a whole pound of bacon, diced up, not diced up, but sliced up for like spoonful. And you add some potatoes. Then you add like a gallon of milk into here. To let the potatoes get to the point where they're softened up. Then add some more green chilies to it. Then you add a bunch of cheese Mexican cheese, real Mexican cheese, the kind they make on ranches. It crumbles, but once it gets cooked in there, it actually stretches and it melts. It stays uh, together. So I'm going to put some of this in there, plenty of it in there, and save some for when people serve up their own plate to put some extra in there. So right now I'm just waiting for the potatoes to soften up and I did put half of the can of green chilies. Why do I do that? Because the green chilies tend to dissolve as they're cooking and they get into little strips and that's why I leave a bunch for the end so it'll still be a little intact there. With a lot of so garden cooking for a little bit. Try not to let it boil. Let's get it hot enough for the potatoes to cook and had your green chilies, had some cheese, make them in big clunks, chunks, and half of that is good. Why? Because it coagulates together, and when you get it on your spoon, it pretty much stays like that. It breaks up a little bit, but not that much. Not going to be long before it's ready. Let me see how Cherie's dough is rising. Oh yeah. It's ready and we're ready to go. And now you just switch into your bag of cheese. And you can crumble a little bit on top of it. And it gives you some fresh extra goodness. And here's some for Cherie. And just move it around in there and it'll melt some up. Go ahead, honey, take it with you. And I dropped one on the floor, but it's okay, we have a jazz here. My doggy will clean up my mess. Okay. It really doesn't mess with making beer rocks. This table's big enough for her, and don't mess with her. <laughs> See this rolling pin? <laughs> yeah, the kind of knocking on the head. Beer rocks, bread with chili con carne in it. Go ahead, sir. Chili con carne that we normally eat with white rice and beans. Mexicans will call this a tostada. <laughs> I mean a torta. <laughs> and here's where she's putting them. Chili con carne beer rocks. She's German and I'm Mexican. What do you expect? I'm the Mexican style. Quesadillas done German style. Put that big queso fresco in it. A sliver of green chili. And you guys have eaten quesadillas before. Pretty much the same thing. This is the beer ox bread with uh, 
chili con carne inside and I put a little dab of red on top so we can determine what's what. And this one inside here is the one with cheese. Then we butter up the top and put a dash of paprika on it also to show us what's what. <clears throat> and these we had extra and we used the regular B-Rox mix which is hamburger and cabbage. And then this one is special because we put cheese on top of that one inside. And these are just regular B-Rocks. German B-Rocks with uh, ground beef and cabbage and mix. And onions. And onion mix.